What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum, where we are seconds away from being introduced to a new character. Oracle, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? Joker's escaped custody. He's running free in Arkham. Do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. So that was Oracle. She's the daughter of Jim Gordon, and she's going to act as something of a guide for us. Please, you've got to save him. Thank God. It's Zaz. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz has totally lost it. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. I see anything that looks even a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Do you hear me? I like how he says that Zaz has just now lost it. Like Zaz ever had it. He's just losing it now. He's a serial killer who tallies his victims by carving tally marks into his skin. But he's just losing it now. Great assessment, Dunscap. So if you're just joining me, last episode the Joker was caught and then he kind of escaped. And now the inmates are running Arkham Asylum. And to make matters worse, Victor Zaz, this notorious serial killer, is holding a guard hostage. So let's grapple from gargoyle to gargoyle, something you're going to see a lot, and kick him in the head. And that's the entirety of the threat that Zaz presents. Someone put this animal back in his cell. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Oh, hiya, B-Man. Harley Quinn here. How do you like my new uniform? Pretty hot, huh? You have one chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting bats, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Well, technically the Joker's goons shipped him from Blackgate, but you get the idea. Bye-bye for now. Batman, you picking this up? Oracle, I'm here. Arkham Asylum just vanished off the network. He's in control of the security system. He's probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police feeds are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Says he'll detonate them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? I know him. Let's see. I'm gonna check real quick and see if there's a Riddler trophy in the back of the room. I thought I remembered there being one back here. Is that Harley, Steve Blum? In this Clearly Steve Blum. She never was very bright. So, the character we just saw featured in that last cutscene. If you're not familiar with her, her name is Harley Quinn. And she became a long-running staple of Batman as the Joker's companion. Hey, but she was conceived in the Batman. 90s animated the series. Here. But Steve, she's interesting in that she was conceived not in the comics, but in the 90s uh, animated series. Also, fun fact, Kevin Smith named his daughter after her, Harley Quinn Smith. Sorry, feed's down. Comms are up and down like crazy. It's not good. I'll keep trying. And a little bit more about Zaz back there. Zaz is a really minor character who, for some reason, they kind of push a little bit harder than most minor characters, at least in the Arkham games, for reasons that I... I can't understand. I think his gimmick is kind of cool, but I don't understand why he gets featured so prominently. And meanwhile, Firefly gets no spotlight ever. Oh man, I'll never stop talking about Firefly. Batman needs more arson-based villains. Joker toxin. Listen, the room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them, Batman? Yeah, I'll get in there and help them. Plus, imagine, imagine a boss fight against Firefly. It'd be like the Fury, except instead of lame-ass Snake, you'd play as Batman. It's a win-win. Actually, isn't Firefly in Arkham Origins? This is oh, I should really play Arkham game. Origins. I think this Joker is the second video in a row I've said that. Help me. I'll get around to helping everyone. 
So Zaz was the head of a multinational corporation, if I remember correctly, but he eventually became depressed and he blew all of his money gambling, and I think he lost some crooked game against the Penguin, and now he kills people to free them from the emptiness of existing. And that's also one of the lightest Batman villain backstories. <laughs> this is going to be a dark-ass playthrough. Especially when I get around to talking about Mad Hatter and Humpty Dumpty. But instead of talking about Zaz, I'd rather talk about Firefly because Firefly is so cool. I'm going after I don't know, there's something that's just way more sinister about an arson-based villain for some reason. Oh yeah, and before I get off of Zaz for good, uh, Zaz, he, the rest of his gimmick, like I said, revolves around him. Whoops, meant to glide. But you can see... Helpful little mechanic there, whenever you fall into a death pit, gives you the option to grapple out of it and you kind of save yourself from death. Zaz's whole gimmick is that he kills people and for every victim, he carves a tally mark into his own skin, which I think is the only thing about him that I find kind of interesting, gimmick-wise. So, anyway, Firefly is way more interesting than that. People talk about Firefly like Firefly is a bad villain. But I call bullshit. I call complete bullshit on that. Batman has some god-awful villains. Firefly is not one of them. When you have the fucking penny plunderer in those ranks, Firefly does not qualify as a bad villain. Also, oh, this is where that Riddler trophy was. I can't remember where to get the one up above. And, oh, and a real quick note before I go off on a different tangent. This isn't going to be a 100% run, I'm just going to go after the Riddler trophies when I remember where they are or the ones that seem convenient to get. Not really interested in 100%ing this. So, when you have the Penny Plunderer in your ranks, yeah, Firefly doesn't get to make the list of the worst Batman villains. Because guess what? The Penny Plunderer, he plunders pennies. He also, I think, once tried to crush Batman with a giant penny. And that penny was moved to the Batcave, and then DC realized that the Penny Plunderer was the worst villain ever conceived, or one of them, and they wrote him out of existence. But they kept the coin there and just attributed it to Two-Face, I think, instead. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Oh, I'm counting on it. Just not yet. <laughs> He's a big one. <laughs> these enemies are going to be recurring quite a bit. These Titan enemies. Big, dumb, charging brute types who are going to throw large pieces of furniture and bodies at us it's brutal and the way that you deal with them is you hit them with a batarang as they start to charge at you it disorients them they hit a wall you get a couple hits off then they pound the ground but these enemies i fought so many times and they recur so often throughout the game that oh whoops I actually forgot what my what the button is for the quick batarang. There's a way that you can throw the batarang without having to aim. And I don't remember what the button for that is. They teach you later, so it won't be a big deal. I just have to avoid that happening again. And dodge out of the way. Oops. Almost got caught up on the wall. Shit. Um, but yeah, these enemies recur so often that I... Ugh, it's hard to find anything interesting to say about them. So I'd rather talk about awful, awful Batman villains some more. Uh, so in addition to the Penny Plunderer, there are villains such as uh, Crazy Quilt, who was a dude who went blind and then got his vision back. But being able to see again, like he, I guess he saw a certain wavelength of colors, or he, his vision was messed up when he got it back. And being able to see it again drove him nuts for some reason. So he donned a Technicolor polka dotted cape and he tried to steal color once from Gotham. He tried to steal color. And then he also has a bunch of other like terrible storylines that he was involved in a long time ago. I can't remember the last time he was actually in continuity, so maybe they also wrote him out of existence. And then, oh yeah, he proceeded to go blind again uh, when he fought Robin, I think? That was 
was unexpected, wasn't it? Oh well. Note to self, need stronger test subjects. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is ever going to be able to top Mark Hamill's Joker laugh. Nothing. Whoa. Whoa, Steve Blum. I'm trying to get in here. Oh, it wants me to upgrade first. So there's also this system in the game. Let's look at some of this uh, special combo throw. Ooh, unblockable grab. I usually gravitate towards armor, but I usually play on hard, so... Eh. Let's see, critical combo status. Combo Batarang I don't care about. Critical combo is what I'm eyeing right now. Inverted takedown. Oh, right, I forgot that was an upgrade. I thought... You, for some reason, I thought you just got that automatically later on. Yeah, I want inverted takedown, actually. That's going to help a lot with the stealth sections. It's going to open up a lot of really good options. All right. All right, Mr. Blum. All right, Officer Blum. You gonna take that gate down so I can assist you? It came out of nowhere. I dragged Jerry in here. Powered up the gate. Must have passed out. Joker went through that door. What's on the other side? We call it extreme isolation. Only way in is via the transport system. Open it. Not a problem. I'll just need to call another cell. Okay. Something's wrong here. The main security loop is locked. Having a little trouble up there? Joker. You were expecting maybe Two-Face? There's no escape, Joker. Silly bat! I don't want to escape! I'm having way too much fun! I even have you here to give a smile on my face! Not for long. Really? We'll see. Ta-ta! Oh, I forgot to say! Just in case you were planning on following me, I've arranged a little insurance. Gordon is on his way to Harley as we speak. Officer Bowles. <laughs> if I see you trying to follow me, he dies. Harley's looking forward to it. Maybe I'll film it and post it on the internet. <laughs> yep, put that up on live leak. The transport system is down. Best I can do is open the door you came in. Sorry. I should go back to the holding cells. Bowles wasn't too smart. He'll have left a trail. Yeah, we finally get the map introduced so I don't get crazy lost. <laughs> Batman, what's happening? Joker's escaped. He sealed himself off. He's got your father. Dad. Don't worry, I'm getting him back. Okay, I know, but... Oracle, I'm getting him back. Joker will not win. I won't let him. I'm starting where he was taken. A guard named Frank Bowles attacked him. If I find Frank, I'll find your father. Bruce, hurry, please. All right, so we're going to go try to track down this crooked guard, Frank Bowles. Was it a clue, the great detective? Is there something in here? We're going to go try to track down Frank Bowles and get him to lead us back to Oracle's father, Jim Gordon, the, the police commissioner. No, I guess there's nothing in here. That's weird. Maybe something later? I didn't notice anything that I could actually interact with even down the line. Nope. Ah, oh, there's the quick batarang button that I could have used against the Titan. There we go, quick batarang. Oop. Stun with B. Ground takedown and... Oh, yeah! Oh, you gotta love that dynamic animation. So cool. It makes the like, the flow of combat feel so good. Even if it's not the most complicated system in the world, it's no like it's no platinum character action game or anything, but it's so it feels good. I'm at the holding cells. I'm setting up a crime scene. So what's the plan? Isolate something in that room unique to Bowles? Exactly. Bowles dropped his flask. Sloppy. Let's see what the forensic scanner picks up. 
I can follow traces of alcohol from Frank's bourbon in the atmosphere. Oracle, I've got a trail. That's great. You follow it. I'm grabbing every reference to Arkham I can find. Maybe useful later. That thing back here, this, uh, we'll be able to do something about this later on when we get a couple more gadgets unlocked. That's kind of the neat thing about this game is it's got this little bit, uh, this little Metroidvania-y element to it. There's a lot of Riddler trophies to find. I'm heading in the wrong direction. Oh right, this is what Batman says when you go off of the beaten path that you're supposed to follow, where you're supposed to follow traces of alcohol in the air from Frank Bowles' flask. Should be right around here, actually. Or actually, the quarter we're coming up on. Before we go into that door, though, let's shatter some teeth. Stupid, unreliable. How did Joker get? Be quiet. What's going on? And Harley making an explosive exit has ruined the elevator system, so we're going to have to find an alternate way to pursue her next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.